Genshin Impact spells only. We are back once again, and while I was off camera, I was doing my daily commissions, and as you can see here, we have finally hit AR50 on the account. That means I now have three accounts at AR50 or higher. I don't know if that's really something to be proud of. The bad thing about hitting AR50 is it means we have the possibility to max out everything on the account. So once again, we're going to have to do a lot of grinding for all these characters. And just out of curiosity, how many of these things could I craft? Five. That's actually not bad. Then it's just scrolls, mushrooms, and one more of these. And I should probably be farming those mushrooms every day. I take that back. You can't farm them every day. But every day that they're available, I should be farming them. And I did see some people saying that I should build DPS Hazo because he's meant to be a DPS character. And I in no way disagree with that. I think DPS Hazo could be a lot of fun. The main reason I didn't want to do that is because if we have to fight enemies that have shields and then that's our main DPS, we can't break the shield. But also, I just thought it'd be funny to see a DPS Mona, because obviously not that many people seem to do that. Trust me, I'm well aware it's not the most efficient or intelligent decision. I just want to have fun, and a DPS Mona sounds fun to me. You know what doesn't sound fun to me? The viridescent domain to try to get good artifacts for Hazo. Oh, you guys know how they quote-unquote fix the whole alternate sprint thing? For instance, Mona in Ayaka's sprint, as well as some characters when they're in elemental skills or burn. They tried to make it so that you could navigate terrain a little easier. And to an extent, it does do that. But I can't be the only one who wants them to make it so you can actually get off of cliffs with it. Or really just any terrain. Like, look at this. Oh, um... I'm stuck, can't move. But if you go to any other character, you're able to sprint right off the edge. Now, what sounds fun to me is imagine, imagine you're Mona or any character with this problem and you go to the edge and what it does is it like pops you out. And then as long as you're holding sprint, when you land, you just splash straight back down in the water as if the ground is water. I think that would just look so cool. And then also things like Sayu should just be able to roll right off the side of something and then land on the ground and keep rolling. I don't know if there's a specific reason they don't do that, but it just sounds like it'd be really cool. So Hoyoverse, I know no one from Hoyoverse is listening, but if you are listening, feel free to do that. Don't mind me, I'm just going to go around and bully all of the Samatrils now. <laughs> After a decent number of Samatrills taken down, we still don't have too many of these. Am I able to craft 13 more? Oh, I could craft exactly 13 more, but then if another character needs them, I don't have any. Unless Sucrose wants to give me a bonus 3 right here. That would be pretty cool. Okay, we got one. Come on, one more bonus. One more bonus on this one, Sucrose, please. Oh, nice. So we have all the scrolls. We could pretty much get... What is that? Why is that like that? Why is there redacted information within this item's description? Let's go, Mona. Big. Not so big. Mediocre damage. It's okay. We're getting there. Eventually, we'll have bigger damage. You know you want to give me good drops. Like, I know you want to give me good drops. Okay, maybe I was confused. Do we have the quest to level up our world level yet? Oh, we do. Dude, I would have done that before I fought all the Samaturls. Since our XP didn't cap at 50, I thought it was one of the levels where it would just automatically level up your world without your consent. Apparently, that's not the case. So we're gonna have to go ahead and take care of this Ascension quest. Ooh, red levels. I guess this account gets to join all my others, except for my main, with showing red levels everywhere. The main reason I want to do this is just so that everything drops better drops for us, which means less grinding overall, even though the enemies will be harder to take down. I probably should have brought Sucrose, because that room with the Fatui agent man and all of the millions of village hurls, it's not too much fun when you have to run around to each and every one of them. Speaking of a room with a Fatui agent and tons of village hurls, here it is. Oh my gosh, it hurts so much. See, this is when Sucrose might have been kind and nice. At least she kind of could have grouped them up for us. And I know if that agent hits me again, I am 100% 
100% dead. This is by far the worst room of the whole Ascension quest. Every time it's the most annoying. And there goes Klee. And now, it's time for what I consider one of the easiest parts of this whole thing. It's just the electro hypostasis, and for some reason, it doesn't just want to stay down and let me hit it. I mean, that's smart, but why is it being smart? And with it in the final phase, we should just be able to spam normal attacks with Yanfei. That's the reason why we bring her in here, also for the pyro resonance, but she's just so good at getting rid of this last phase. And there we go. World is ascended. Oh, guides of freedom were in that chest. Oh, you love to see that. And for our first enemy with increased drop rates, we have the whooper flower. The waffle flower. And what do we get from it? Uh, pretty much the same normal drops. So with our new increased drop rates, let's go beat an even larger flower. And we'll see if we can get better drops than we did the first time we beat it. There we go. And now show me these increased drops. Last time we only got two. So technically it's better. Oh, but look at this. Just doing the daily commissions and these guys are dropping a lot more. I would say that's a good number of drops. So once again, this idiot lost his key and I'm sick of finding it for him, but it brought me over to this area, which reminded me, hold on, wait for it. Okay. It reminded me we still haven't gotten this chest and now it really doesn't matter for us because it just gives us a claymore blueprint. But of course there is a way for us to go ahead and actually get get that. All we have to do is run on up over here, go in ye old inventory, put down our portable waypoint, go find some source of cryo, teleport back over here, we burst, we stand in the burst, and just like that, I don't know why the chest isn't rendered in. As you can see, Hoyovers, after the last episode of Spells Only, and now this one, we don't even need a cryo catalyst user. Though I kind of want a cryo catalyst user. But there we go. We get. Oh, that actually gave me an achievement too. I was missing out on free primo gems. That's unacceptable. Oh, I guess this would have been a good spot for getting applied with some cryo. There's nothing but cryo here. Well, if we find any future cryo monuments that we need to light, we know where to come because I doubt we're getting a cryo catalyst anytime soon. It's also kind of sad that I put so much thought into which color mini Sealy I wanted on each account when we get this little pet for free. And I'm gonna be honest, this little guy is my favorite pet so far. It's just so cute and it's free. And it also doesn't make a ton of noise as you're running around. It is completely silent. You know, I never realized how much the Dendro Slime when underground resembles an Ivysaur. But the reason why I'm out here is I believe for this little girl right here, yes. I would like to buy some of your wares. All of your mushrooms, all five of them are now mine. We're quite a ways away from the 60 that we need to ascend a Klee, but if we get them, then we can ascend a Klee. And as our current best DPS and really only DPS at the moment, I think it'd be a very smart idea to try and ascend her, especially because we just ascended the world again. I really don't think this is gonna be enough. Survey says it's not enough. Now here's the deal. I could just, you know, wait a couple days and then gather up some more, or I could go into co-op and see if we can get some from somebody else's world. Because up until a few minutes ago, I forgot that was even an option. This time we're gonna get good jobs from this thing though. Watch. Biggest Okay, they got worse. Apparently, I missed a few of these mushrooms around on stat. I forgot that it shows me on the map where they are because I think it's Klee's passive. Oh, I missed a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot on this. Okay, maybe we don't need to go in someone else's world. Perhaps I should just actually go ahead and collect all the ones in my world before even considering that. Because I did miss quite a few. And we have too, too few to actually ascend up Klee. Is there any chance that I left some behind? Isn't there a house like where on the map it's showing that there's a little hand thing isn't there a house up there i don't think i went to that one. <gasps> oh, we might have just enough one and wait for it uh where's it the... it's showing another one on the map i don't see it where are thou it's somewhere uh ex excuse me map wait wait maybe it's right here there it is <laughs> and i'm pretty sure that's every single one that we can get now we just go ahead and craft as many of these as possible, which should give us not enough. So for like the fourth time, I think we're going to take this thing down again. You going to give me anything good this time? Oh, okay. We still don't have enough of these to craft up what we need, but a five star artifact. 
not the best, but this account doesn't have many of them. Oh, maybe, wait, 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 wait. It might be just enough where we're gonna have not a single fire or pyro, any type of gem. So Klee will officially be the first character on the account to be max ascended. I would max her out, but I don't think I even can. We'll put her up to 81 just so everybody knows that she is indeed maxed hey you remember that five star artifact that we just got yeah uh, i don't think i'm gonna be keeping it oh i forgot the bosses become harder when you level up the world too so lisa really is only here for the birds i guess because to everything else she doesn't do damage this is not going well my clee took a ton of damage and nobody else can do damage lisa's also dead oh thank you game I really appreciate that. Tried to jump in the water and it put me into the revive menu by accident, and then I just couldn't plunge attack. This is going so well. It appears I've made it so I cannot be oceaned on this account anymore. That's cool. All right, well, sorry, Barbara and Mona. It doesn't look like you're going to be getting ascended anytime soon. Except I want one more try. Bringing in the healer Ning Wong. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong now. And the idea is we keep getting shields and healing, so... Unless these things spawn in, which unfortunately they have. Why did you have to spawn in the birds this early? I don't have a single burst up. My shield is also not strong enough to completely block their entire attack. Oh, don't die, Ning Wong. Okay, or do. That's fine too. You know, it's your life or... Oh, wait, no. Now it's ended. So it's not yours anymore. Oh, yes. I love that attack. All right. Yeah. No, we can't do this. I don't know why I'm trying this again. As long as we don't get those. Those birds right there. As long as we don't get those, we're fine. I think. But would you look at that? We got them. So now we lose. Okay, okay. I got rid of two of them. Got rid of three of them. Okay, just no more birds. Please. I don't want to deal with them again. Don't be birds. Don't be birds. Don't be birds. Okay. I mean, those ones are bad as well, but they're not quite as bad as the flying. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of damage. Oh wait, how did Ning Wong die? I hate when a character dies when they weren't even on field. Like you swap them off and they still die. Oh, we won. We did it. Give me these hard earned drops. A nice defense percent artifact. Thank you. I am so grateful. Oh, wait. Today's Sunday, I think. Doesn't that mean I can get anything I want? Look, it's my favorite domain. Philosophies of freedom? You know I'm so excited to do this place. I just figure if we're already having a hard time with bosses and suffering in the game, we might as well do it even more. If we can't do this, maybe I'll go farm for this drop instead so we can max out the Widsith. That would probably be a pretty good idea also. I'm just curious if we can actually beat this. I don't expect us to, but you never know. And as you can see, I did not bring Barbara in, who is our only real healer. But I think you already know why. <laughs> just generate as many shields as we possibly can with Ning Wong. That's the plan. If we have shields, the icicles can't hit us and the enemies can't hit us. It's honestly a flawless strategy. Oh, and I could also just stand behind the shield and not really care about these guys. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is when it goes bad. This is when it goes bad. I can't move. I can't move. Stop. I was gonna say it's not that hard. And then I just got stun locked. And there goes Kali. When I can still beat it though. I can still beat it. Yeah. That almost wasn't bad, until it was. I guess to be fair, I don't need to farm them right now, because Barber's stuff, I'm not too worried about leveling up. More heals is nice, but it needs a lot of scrolls, and Klee also needs the same exact thing, scrolls and freedom. And it's gonna take a long time to get stuff like this leveled up. So perhaps going after the weapon stuff is a better idea. Oh, this is the domain where you want cryo. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me go get my I've made that joke so many times. I don't have a cryo catalyst user. Let's hope that this place is a little bit easier than the other one. Oh, wait. This is the one where it takes away all your cooldowns. I forgot about that. So I can't just spam Ning Wong's burst. Uh-oh. I think I've decided. The Abyss Mages in general are my least favorite enemy in this game. We're able to beat it just very slowly and very painfully. Ooh, but we got good drops. Here we go again. That time went smooth. Smoother. It was only about two minutes, which is sad considering my main does it in like 40 seconds or less. But shush, 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 shush. My main doesn't exist right now. <gasps> oh, oh, I like.
like this. Again, again. If there were no mages in here, this would be such a nice domain because you could just do such big damage to these. And it's pretty satisfying until the mages spawn in and then it's just torture. I feel like that's going to be the title of this episode. Just pain and suffering. And let me be clear. Yes, I do complain a lot sometimes. That doesn't mean I hate the game. If I hated the game, I wouldn't be playing it. No, no, no. Okay, now I hate the game. The question is, can we get lucky again? Even if we don't, I'm sure I can craft up the last gold one so it doesn't matter too much. We're gonna have to craft it. That's fine. Now, in order to ascend this, I'm gonna need to hunt down quite a few of Abyss mages, which if you remember from like 20 seconds ago, at least in terms of the video, not in terms of my time, they are now my least favorite enemy. So that should be so fun. There's part of me that really just wants to go see how many of them I can craft so I don't have to farm all of these. I guess it's that worth going to... What did I just say? I guess it's at least worth going to look at how many we can craft is what I wanted to say. I don't know what actually came out of my mouth. So I would like one of these. Hopefully we get more than one. Okay, just one. That's fine. That's all I wanted. And then we're... Oh, gosh. Okay. I know we're going to need these for someone else, aren't we? Let me see. You don't need them. You don't need them. You don't need them. Not you. Not you either. Nope. And no, as far as I'm aware, you only use them for weapons. And now I'm sure there's another weapon that's going to need them, but that's a problem for future me. I don't know how many I need. Let's let's do 30. This seems like a good number. Sucrose, any doubles? Four? Okay, nice. And then, yeah, sure, 13 of them. That seems good. And <laughs> no more doubles. Is that good? Are we good? We got it? We're done? Nope, we need three more. So I think that means nine more, and then three more. Weapon, enhance, ascend. Our Widsith, can I max this? Oh, I can, nice. Widsith is maxed. Cleese looking better. I'd still like some more crit rate on her for sure, but overall, with where this account is, I can't complain. I would venture over to the desert because that came out not too long ago, but I think I wanna save that for swords only, since that is the account that we've gotten the furthest in Sumeru on. Oh, wait. I forgot that they added a new boss in this update. Let's, uh, let's try to find a way to fight that thing. I also just remembered I never actually went ahead and watched the 3.1 live stream that they had. At the time, I hadn't yet completed the 3.0 story stuff, and I didn't want to be spoiled, so I didn't watch it, and I still haven't watched it. So I know that there's a desert out there, and that's about it. I haven't actually seen what the desert even looks like, but we'll be saving that for either swords only or something on my main account. Now, if somebody hypothetically wanted to go fight this new boss, what would be the best way to do it? Oh, wait, there's, there's a spin disc down here. For any tea potheads watching the video, there's one of these right here, in case you didn't know that. Although I'm sure it's on the interactive map and you already got it. I feel like this was not the correct way to get over there. I feel like we need to go this way. This looks like the right way. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like the right way. Oh look, it's already dead. I don't want have to fight it. Perfect. I don't even need your drops. I just want to see what you look like. Hey, buddy. Hey, yeah, let me let me read about you. Okay, that's a lot of words. Let me not read about you. How difficult are you going to be to take down? I don't know what the strategy is here besides unga bunga damage. And honestly, I think that's a flawless strategy. It's doing something. So, oh, it's raining. It's it's raining bullets, but not bo bombs. That's the word. And now it's flying. No, not a flying attack. I mean, it's a good thing I have catalysts, but like a bow would probably be a lot better here. Ow. I wonder if you could stun it out of this phase. Oh, that did a lot of damage. You wanna, there you go. Welcome back down. How was your flight? If I were to actually fight this a lot, I would definitely bring Ning Wong in. That would give us a lot more heals than we currently have access to. Now, can I come up here to attack it a little bit easier? Or is it gonna fly away? No, that kind of works. Good to know. I like how even though it's that close to me, it's very hard to actually auto-target it. Like, even from that range, most of Barbara's attacks weren't even hitting. So this is definitely a boss you're gonna want a bow character for. Or, you know, just enough damage to take it down before it can actually fly away. Oh, Klee is so dead here. Oh, wait. Wait, maybe not. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's... Uh-oh. Hey, friend. Yanfei, aim up. Yanfei, aim up. There you go. You know, I'm gonna claim it anyways. I deserve it. That... 
Oh, wow. If only I had a cryo catalyst user. I think that was almost a near perfect no hit run. That's crazy. I was going to jokingly say if we're running with the theme of pain and suffering for this episode, what's something that we could do that lines up with pain and suffering and that would be wishes. I didn't think we actually had any that we could do because obviously we're not pulling on these banners, but I have to acquaint fates. How and when did I get these? Oh, it's from ascending the world. Okay, no, that makes perfect sense. I think. I, th I think that's what it's from. But because it's in the theme of pain and suffering, we should just get blues here. Perfect. It fits very nicely into the video now. If we just got something of use there, some, you know, a purple or anything usable, it just wouldn't make sense. And you know the true definition of pain and suffering? It's something that we call unskippable dialogue. That, the <clears throat> unskippable dialogue. Gotta be honest, I never realized that who is Mondstadt's strongest fighter was Klee's story quest. I knew that there were hints of Klee in it, but I've done that quest so many times on different accounts. What I meant to say was unskippable. Can I not do that? Oh, I can't do them until I do Klee's? Why? I fail to see the significance of Klee's story quest having a major effect on all of the other characters in Mondstadt. Like, we already know Jean, we already know Venti, and they introduce you to Mona in her quest. So why do I have to do Klee first? Oh, actually, you know what? Perfect. Pain and suffering. Oh, yes! Perfect! That fits so nicely into the episode. Quest location is currently involved in other quests. Oh, isn't this the event that's going on right now? AKA the thing I'd rather only do on my main account. Cause usually these are just a ton of, you guessed it, unskippable dialogue. And I'm fine with not skipping dialogue once so I can actually, you know, understand what's happening, but then doing it on three to four different accounts is kind of a different story. And yes, I did this to myself by starting this many accounts, but still. Oh, Mika. Is is that the is that the rooster boy? That is indeed rooster boy, aka Kagami Len. I'm sorry, all I see here is chicken little. Apparently, Finn's palms are sweating. Knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks um Anyways, oh uh, yeah, for some reason, I completely forgot that Razor actually has parents somewhere, or had parents somewhere. Also, hold up, Jean, I haven't raided your library in quite some time. I see you've restocked the books since I've been here last, and I will kindly be taking all of them. Hope you don't mind. Oh, I got two achievements for that. Thank you for the free mo gems. Hey, Rooster Boy. Here's the deal. If this boy right here is not Catalyst, then this would make no sense as a thumbnail. But if he is catalyst then that would make sense as a thumbnail i, I love how Klee's like giving him the side eye back there wait a second that's even better don't ask me why because i really don't know either but i came to fight the Valen. i guess it's not the worst idea since the weeklies reset in about 40 minutes it's kind of sad when there's not a character on the banner that you're trying to go for on an account because then it almost feels like where, what's the goal? You could do events, you could try and do Spiral Abyss, etc. And all of it is to get Primo Gems, which you are not going to spend on the banner that's out. So I think that's the problem right now is I'm not sure what I should be working on, especially because we're saving Sumeru more for Swords Only and the main account. Speaking of Swords Only, that account would appreciate this a lot more than this account. I have not fought this thing in a while on this account, and I forgot how much damage it's capable of doing. We're good, everything's fine. Fine. I wasn't worried at all. And if you were worried, then that just shows you have no faith in me. I'm pretty sure we did this a lot in the last video, so I probably can't do it much. Okay, I really can't do it much at all. But if we want to stick on that same theme of, you know, pain and suffering, we have to use the artifact strong box at least once. And just like that, we get ourselves two artifacts that we're not going to use. Just one more time. One more H- Okay, that's even worse. Maybe I am addicted to gambling. Because like I said, I can't do wishes. So I, I feel like I have no purpose. And then I'm over here just putting everything into the artifact strong box. It's the gotcha withdrawal. Should we do this on this account? We've only had it for a handful of months, even though it feels like so much longer. You know what? Let's just have a little trip down memory lane, shall we? Let's see what this account has accomplished. So on May 25th of this year, we started the account. 2,500 slimes, 3,500 hella churls, and I've 
been active for only 90 days? Oh boy, I'm slacking. 317 daily commissions. Well, if you figure we've been on 90 days and there's four commissions per day, and then we subtract the 317 that we have done, and then divide that by four, that's about 10 days where I logged in but didn't do my dailies. I don't know why I'm just outing myself like that. In June, I spent 92 hours in Tevat. I... I don't- is that a lot? Doesn't seem like that much. Give me the free primos. During my journey, I've spent 16 million more. I've had that much on this account? I feel like we're always broke. The most resin I've used in a month is 6,100. I really don't know if any of this is a lot, but I guess you can let me know down in the comments how you compare with these stats. Of course, this account's only been in existence for a couple of months. Oh, you're really gonna do me like that game? You're gonna remind me that I haven't beat floor 12 of the Spiral Abyss yet? We'll get there. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get there eventually. The boss I've defeated the most is Electro Hypostasis. The only character that needs that is Lisa, and she's like my lowest level. W why have I beat it this many times? And more primos. Heh <laughs> Take that, Madam Ping. I don't want your stupid teapot on this account. I like how everything for Leeway is just saying, you haven't done this yet. Oh, this? Well, you haven't experienced that yet either. So far, I've collected nine pieces of wood. Wow, I'm practically a lumberjack. Oh, what's this? You have haven't been to the chasm yet. Ooh, you haven't obtained this yet. Dang, I got my statue of the seven in Inazuma to level two? That's crazy. Oh, would you look at that? I haven't done this yet either. I'm noticing a bit of a trend here, but it doesn't matter because we're just here for the primo gems. You wanna see a really long chapter in this book? Let me introduce you to the Sumeru chapter. So it starts out by saying that we arrived there on a certain date and well, that's about it because I have done nothing else in this region. And just like that, it's done already. Look at this though. Look at all those primos. That's not even enough for one whole wish. So here's the thing. What I'm thinking is I kind of want to try and do a live stream on either my main account or swords only sometime soon, but we all know how I am with that. So no promises there though. I, I want to try and do that. So maybe look for a live stream in the next few days, or maybe don't. Your guess is as good as mine. With that being said, though, we are going to wrap this one up here. So I hope you did enjoy something in this mess of an episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time.